get out of here. Cobia? Yeah, big one. Big Cobia. He's got, he's got your cave hole. You got to keep her Cobia on the cave hole. What do I do? You got to keep him out of the ridge. What do I do? Keep him out of the ridge. Hold on. We're here in the mad scientist room. We're off with uh, just a few rods. Just a few. What are these for swordfish? Deep dropping? Mm -hmm. Wahoo rods. That's a monster right there. That's another mar or swordfish rod. He's rigging up for some mangrove rods for us. And then we're gonna do snapper and maybe tuna today. But it's early and Cap doesn't wanna talk. Day two, just like every other day here, starts with filling this pig up and picking up clients or ice or you know, whatever. And this is Venice Marina right here. And it's just a bunch of hardcore fishermen. Thank you, Jimmy. These are inshore redfish and trout boats right here, bass, whatever they choose to target. And then you've got your offshore fleet. And pretty much everybody knows everybody down here. So yesterday we used a total of 280 gallons of gas. And this is the cool thing about fishing. All these people haven't really met each other ever. And they all just sharing fish stories. Off we go. Got the ruffles. I am excited. The first morning, like every morning, fishing for big fish starts with catching bait. What's 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 he catching right now? Bogies. Wait, what'd you get? What's he catching? Pogies. What are those? Uh, Menhaden. Like a shad, basically? Correct? Saltwater shad? Uh, sort of. We're gonna watch the professional do it. You got a nasty in the bottom of the net right there, a little one. That right there will mess your whole world up if you get stung. <laughs> what is that thing? What kind of cat? Hardtail? No, that's his baby sail cat. Baby sail cat. Huh. Interesting. Goodbye. Do we have the baits, boys? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. How big do those get? And for what we're fishing for today, what were we fishing for today? 
bank moves, red snap, but he's actually the best tuna that's there. Good for tuna too? Yeah, they won't be staying live long time. I was going straight uh, there. Gotcha. Let's see one of them suckers. Let's see one of those guys. Very cool, very cool. Hardtail time. Horn belly time. Horn bellies. Close. I was close. They had heart in it. That is boogies, and then I guess we're putting other ones in there. Do you mix them or does it matter? Horn bellies here or mangroves? What? Horn bellies here or mangroves? So what are we doing here, Eddie? We're tying up to the rig. We're gonna start chumming and wait for the mangroves to come out. Mangrove snappers, and super tasty boys. The best thing out here. Really? Absolutely. Are they pretty? I put them up. I don't know. Triple tail might be better. Okay. How you cook them? It's like mine. Okay. It's like tying below the dam. Puts on her fish when she bakes it. You don't think this is nuts for redfish too? Nutmeg. Nutmeg. It doesn't, you can't taste the nutmeg. It just makes the fish flight come out. We lassoed the, the rig here. And basically those, I guess they'll just hang out around the rig and we chum them and pull them out. Yep. And then flip a bait in. Yep. Let me get out of the way. And where I get out of the way is exactly in the way. What is that? So we're gonna cane pole saltwater fish. This is just the kind of yee stuff I came here for. Oh, it's gone. Oh! <laughs> Broke off. What did it just break? What pound test? Dang, just like that? Hit the rig. Okay, so there's a cane pole tournament down here. What day is the cane pole tournament, August Eddie? 10th and what? August, August 10th, 10th and 11th. August 10th and 11th down here in Venice, where you cane pole what fish? Whatever you can catch. Okay. And I'll put a link or something down in here if you guys want to come take part in that. Rigging back up, and he got busted off instantly on 50 pound fluoro with the cane pole. <laughs> with the cane pole. You excited? Ready. We're gonna watch the master at work here. Is he gonna get bonked or am I gonna get bonked? Oh, I got bonked. That went in my mouth. Like 100% circle hook went in my mouth. I'm not gonna get up there until you do your thing. No, no, you do it. Come on, right here. Oh, big shark. Get out of here, butthole. No shark for you. No shark for you. Dropping free line cut bait down to the mangroves. That's a big hardtail. That's an amberjack hardtail right there, buddy. If I've ever seen one. Got a uh, rag on Look at the shark. He's wanting to come up and eat it. Hardtail, hardtail. All right, I'm gonna try to catch these people some fish to take home. Chunk them. Your cutting board's a little crooked there. Yeah. She's well used. It's got character. Okay. 
I'm about to do this. You should be able to just drop right here. Yeah, stand right on the, you can stand right on the I think I'll get, I'm trying to get it like a video. All right, How far do I let it down? Oh, look at all of them, look at all of them. If you don't have them over there, I'd come over here. He did not want to eat it. How far down do you let it go? I go down. Keep letting it go. Let's go. Sometimes if you think the closer uh pylon here. No bonk it. Okay. Yeah, let me do that so he can have a better spot. Oh, look at all of them. It's about to be risky business, y'all. I'm gonna give them the beans. Yeah. Uh oh, Eddie's on. You're on. Oh. They're all. Oh, look at there's 50 of them. They are not messing with the cut bait for me. Oh, now you're on, you're on. Get him out, get him out, Eddie, get him out. Cane pole. Oh, cane pole. Cane pole. <laughs> Eddie on the cane pole. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look at that. Hold that sucker up for the camera. He just cane pulled a daggum big saltwater fish. Look at that. Can I try the cane pole? They liking the live pogies? Gonna get you one. Oh look, they're they're on it. They're on it. They're on it. He's running. He's running. Oh look at him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Ah. Pull the hook. There. You're sitting there looking at him. Look at all those mangroves. All right, I gotta get out of the way. What bait? I thought there's one, but I keep losing them. Oh, she got one. She got one. He's a fighting. He's a fighting. What is that? What is that? That's a giant. Ah! Busted off. Eddie! Come on! I had him out the water. You trying to catch one on the hook? I got open three now. It looks good. Look at all of them. All right, guys, come on, target species. No more hardtails. I want to use the cane pole? Yes, I do. All right. What's, what's my, how do I do this? God, this thing's heavy. I know, it's actually than it looks. He has a float on this in case it goes in the water. It floats. Negro snapper. What's the limit on these guys? Ten a, Ten a piece. She's on up there. Oh, she's got a good one. Got a shark oh, a shark. The tax man is collecting dues. I'm 
gonna go up to the front, Eddie. I think that's a Cobia. Cobia. Cobia, what? Cobia. Gaff his ass. You need a gaff? Hop over here with that camera. Get the Cobia off. Can you hold this? Don't be illegal. Hold on, honey, you're wrapping it in there. Oh? 32? She's got a Cobia. Oh. First Cobia I've ever seen. Get him! Uh, Get him! Crank on him, Rosemary. Don't let him beat you up like that. He's about to give it up. Huh? She's on the board. She out caught us all on bait. Her mouth gapping. That's going to be close. Mouth gapping. We don't think this one's legal, but we're going to net it anyways. Take a picture. Take a picture with it and. You want the net, Eddie? We've been fishing for a total of two minutes here before Eddie put us on them. There you go. Nice. You weren't out yet? Nice. Well, since I thought he was Hooks shark. out. Hooks out. That is the first Kobe I've ever seen. Super cool. That's a pretty fish. You may go back here and measure him. Uh, he ain't 36. He ain't. You want a picture with him? Sure. All right. Let me go get my. Let me get it. Cool fish though. She got her a cobia while she's mangrove fishing, like a pro. Good job. He... Oh. It's okay. Oh. All right, he's gonna measure him. Oh. I'm trying to. He jumped. Feisty, feisty. See ya. Okay, we got interrupted by the cobia, and I'm going to retry to do the cane pole. No. All right, tell me what are you eating? Eating, eating. Oh, he, he spit it out. You got a bait? They're coming after it. You got a bait in that one? I do not. Not a phone cane pole. Oh, he just took it. He took it. Get him. Get him. Get him! I see bait from God. Don't let him into that. There we go. Got him. One in the box. Still sitting there. Let me see you. All right. Eddie's getting me hooked up. Pitch it in. Mark taking it. Yeah. Yeah. Take it. How do I do this? Is this a J or a circle? J. You got to pull that. Oh, oh, new guy on the pole. Newbie. Oh, they're hitting at it. They're hitting at it. You better be ready. They made it. Hey, hey, got his ass. <laughs> you ain't got nothing yet. Man, that was epic. You want to try it, Jeff? You need to try it. I want to try it. Oh, I'm good. They'll rip your arm off. That was fun. <laughs> Cane pole. I don don you. In the box. We're gonna call this thing Excalibur. <laughs> you call that the damn meat stick. Meat, meat stick. stick. <laughs> I like the meat stick. The meat stick. What are you guys fishing with today? The meat stick. The meat stick. We're going back to the chunking. I don't work up a anyway, sweat. This damn, this damn mangrove bit the hook. He won't let the hook go. No, don't let your finger close. Trust me. He's trying hard. These things get crunchers on them. Yeah, let me dead back. Okay. I won't turn that Let go of the hook. Oh, he got him. He got him. Oh, I tried to take him in the rig. Straight to the rig. Straight to the rig. He's still alive. He'll give you Hey, good sir. I'm back in it. You want to try it, Chad? Do the cane pole, Chad. Go bonk. Oh, oh, what? We got some bonking about to happen. All right, Chad, bonk him to death. It'll definitely fire up in a boat. 
Chad choked up on the cane pole. Swing and a miss. They are fired up. Fired up. They ripped that pogey in half. Look at Shark. Oh, you're getting chased. Oh, oh, you almost had the shark. Uh-oh. Oh, Jack Craval. I'm trying to get away from the shark and the jack. I don't want to waste my time. They can't eat. Uh-uh, I'm on the bank Oh, we got the jack fired up. Do the pitch on that thing on the old cane pole. Oh. Cane pole, cane pole, cane pole, get him, Chad, get him, get him, get him, get him, Chad. Oh, that's a better one than mine. <laughs> on the cane pole. Oh, he's on, he's on, he's on. Another mangrove. Oh no, oh no, he got shark. Oh, he's shark. Shark. No, he's not shark, yeah. No, he's shark. Okay. He shark. <laughs> he's definitely shark. He's shark. <laughs> definitely shark. The tax man has collected dues. It's okay, he's in a little bit of them. Huh. All right, he threw the dead one back in there. They're still coming out on it. Yeah, they look at it, look at it, look at it. They won't probably leave it. He's down, the shark's down below it, unfortunately. Meat stick, putting meat in the locker. You got eaten. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Shark's right on your butt. Shark's right on your butt. All right, he's gone now. He got him. Yes, the meat man. Yes, <laughs> Very nice. We're cane pulling. Oh, you're on. You're on. Let me throw it over here. Oh, big shark. Is that a cobia right here? Is this a cobia? Yes, a big one. Big cobia. Jumbo. He's got. He's got your cane pole. You gotta oh, keep her Kobe on the cane pole. Oh, what do I do? Jumbo, you gotta keep him out of the ridge. What do I do? Keep him out Bring of the ridge. Right no, no, let's get him close to me. Oh my God. Keep him out of the ridge. Can you raise Don't it? Move Hang on. Don't go down. Let him put it down. Oh! Dang it. He'll bite again. He'll bite it again. Good Kobe. That was sick. <laughs> I was like, is that a Kobe? It eats my bait. <laughs> You ever seen that before? Not on a cane pole. <laughs> not on a cane pole. <laughs> Let's go. I've seen it, but not on a cane pole. <laughs> All right, that was epic. First freaking cobia hooks on a cane pole. That was cool. <laughs> that one's a key. <laughs> oh shit, sorry. Oh, it's all good. We should. Like, Should have changed. Is that a and then I was like, he's got your bait. Yeah. <laughs> Colby on the cane pole. All right. Did, he... Did I do anything wrong there? No, it was a line. Oh, because it was great. You hooked him on there. Oh, yeah, well, the I can't help that. You gave me a cane pole. <laughs> he's chumming them up for us. Oh, yeah. Fish business if you want to come do some dumb stuff. <laughs> cane pole cobia. Cane pole cobia. <laughs> you saw it here, folks. We got yellowfin skying in a hundred feet. Are you using a J hook, Mr. Chip? Yeah. Uh, for the for the angle. Yeah, tuna, tuna, tuna. 
I just saw him right there again. Yeah. 100%. Boom! There's one to you. So we were fishing in 15, we were fishing in 4,000 feet of water. No, we saw Tuna Sky right there. No, no, no. no he, he, oh. He skied in the hard place. Oh, gotcha. Misunderstood. So they're hitting hardtails? Yeah, that's what they blew up right there. So we, bo we both saw the same. Yeah, I saw, saw another one out here. Okay, I saw a big grande right there. there. Uh, it could be a spinner. I saw yellow fins. Okay, well, I'll watch it. Mangro on, mangro on. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, mangrove. Mangrove, mangrove. We fill in the box. Got a couple Bruce Rosemary Rosemary got them one. Huh? Okay. Ooh, the leader. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit wonky in the leader. I bring it to you, guaranteed fun. Oh, we got him dangerous in there. We in the danger zone. Yep, yep, yep. Eating, eating. Oh! Oh! You're rigged. You can get him. You can get him. Oh, you almost got him. Oh, she got him. He's out. <laughs> Hold on to her. Hold on to her. You gonna get shark? Get him. Uh oh. That leader's gotta be smacked. Jeff, you're gonna lose her. Fish. Got him. Go. Professional. <laughs> How's that elite? It's got to be professional. Mega. All right, Jeff. Jeff's gonna get one. Jeff's gonna get him. We got sharks. Ah! <laughs> ah! Coleman got me in the eye. I got chum in my eye. You got a clean towel? Yeah. My bad, dog. You're fine. I don't care. Okay. We're unchummed, I repeat, we're unchummed. We've hooked a shark. And we want the shark to break the line. Get out of here. Shark's never break the line. Get out of here, you sharky boy. You just hold him there, Jeff. You gonna show us how it's done again, Rosemary? <laughs> yeah. Did you catch that shark for you, Jeff? Yeah. Bro, we take his rock. Okay, all right. And you oh, a rock. lefty? This is so backwards. Yep. Good. Broke them off for you, sir. Watch out, watch out. You got one. Oh, one water. Water? I'll get you one. Uh, there was one in the seat. We got beers. Take break. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Fish. You want me Fish? to do it? Yeah. All right. Can you get me a, a bait? I'm about to do some dumb stuff again. Go for it. Where's the cobia at? No. Where's the cobia? What is that? The cobia? Yes. I'll get you the cobia. Set the hook, Mark. <laughs> We going up yonder with a meat stick. With the meat stick. 
I wish I would have successfully landed a Kobe on the cane pole. That would be cool. I need a bait. That would have been cool. It was right there. I got the eat on camera, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I was like looking straight down and I was like, is that a is that a cobia? And it ate it. All right, I've moved the meat stick to the front and now I will try to catch a hardtail or pogey. Get here. Give me a big old pogey. Come here. This is hard. Give me a minute. Let's look at this. Oops. I might have came home. You stole your bank? They don't hit them like a gizzard. True to nose. Here we go. I see him down there. The hardest part's setting the hook. Oh, they're trying to get it. They're trying to get it. Come on. They've wisened up. Wisened up on me. You have a fish on? Game puller. Game puller. Game puller. It's not a cobia. Game pole. Okay. Not, a not a cobia this time. That one fought a whole lot less than a 30 pound cobia. Right here. Thank you, Chad. Trying to behind the back hit. Do it. Okay. Let me learn y'all this technique. You got to get a good little lob and you put it right next to the rig and you put this sucker underneath your arm like this. And you got to watch for that bobber to. Damn. Ate me instantly. Ate me instantly. Retry. Retry. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice little lob right here. I'm gonna get it. Come on. Come on. Eat it. Oh, they're all over it. Got it. Ripped me up. Ripped me up. Little, ah, little jack. Yeah. Oh, I caught a jack. Shark, shark, shark. Oh, God, they're chasing it so fast. Get out of here. No. A jack craval. That's my first jack ever. I know this is a goober fish, but I would like to take a picture with it because it's my first one. Yeah. Jack Craval on a cane pole. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss Rosemary. That's pretty epic. Are Jack's good for a snapper bait later? Uh, I'm gonna have to have pliers to get that one out.
Eddie, can you come up with a hook? I'll jack that guy. Uh, I'll clean your. We keeping him for snapper I'll bait? Yeah, I'll clean your your deck once you get the Mate, Corbin's gonna do it for us. He's gonna cane pull it. All right. All right, buddy. See what you get. It's hard sweeping that way because there's rods in the way, but. Oh, oh. Oh. Have you caught one on a cane pole yet? No. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up here with you. When I was hooking them, I could only get them to eat like next to the thing. Where at? Yeah, just throw them. You can like horse them out as soon as they hook, like flip them in the air. All right, yeah, I see him down there now. I see him. Ooh, almost got him. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Kind of hard fishing with a 20 foot pole. Oh, he's really sinking there. Like this side right here. Yep. They're all over it down there. Oh, did you get broken? No. I'm gonna get out of your way. Here, I'll go get you, babe. Here. Get you one. There we go, there we go. I'm gonna stand down here so you can swing better. I got in your way there. I'm roasty toasty. I had the hardest time getting them to eat it, other than like right next to the rig. Yeah, they follow it all the way out, and then they just go right back. Risk it for the biscuit. All right. You get shark? Yeah, you'll get eaten now. See, he's just staying away from that rig. I know, man. Little butthole. Go get eaten, buddy. Go die. It's hard to swing right there. You start hitting the rods. Over there next to the next to the jack Craval on it. That's a big jack. Cap showing us how it's done. No, probably not. Whiffed. Dang it. Jack. God, get out of here. Oh. Wrecked. No. God, he hit it. Something hit my freaking hook on the way in. Maybe. Thank God. He got me. I was trying to cup the spool. It didn't work. Ah, 
No. That was really delayed. Oh. F and then You're not allowed to turn around. Yeah. He's right here. Hell no. <laughs> All right, I got him beat. My first big jack. Heck yeah. yeah! I cranked the drag down as tight as it would go on this thing. I didn't let him turn. Fourteen. <sighs> that was some work, Chad. My God, that's a heifer. Well, that's a gigantic jack. How, how big is that in terms of jacks? Like decent? Decent. Decent? It's not a canal tuna level? No. Not even not. close. Oh, like that. Well, that's the biggest one I ever caught. And the first one I ever caught was on a cane pole. We're out here with the, the man, the myth, the moat legend, Eddie Berger, with Fish Finish Charters. And we're just wearing out the big mangroves. What are these? Mangrove snappers. Mangrove snappers. This is my first big one. I caught several other ones today, but this is a good size one. They told me I'm new to all this. Look at them teeth on them. Look at them teeth. Going in the box. Oh yeah, I caught a giant Jack Corbell too. We got a few, a few, a few fishes today. And we're just getting started. So we, uh, we were running to that shrimp boat up there to get bait from them. We're gonna go up there and try to catch some bonita. And then captain saw this thing, and there's a possibly a keeper triple triple tail or two underneath it. Fantastic. Came pulling a triple tail, possibly. This could be one of the most fantastic. Triple tail catches I've ever seen. Well, that's how they do it. They paint them a lot now. Really. Purpose. Well, I almost came pulled a cobia. We're gonna try to came pull a triple tail. Now. We caught one shrimp earlier. Oh, he followed it all the way up. Not a big one. He got it in his mouth, don't he? Oh, he, he got your bait. I need a bait. Another newbie. Bait, bait, bait. I got bait. it. 
A shrimp uh, to get some bait. We're gonna catch Benita behind the surfer. We're gonna catch Benita behind it? Yeah, we're gonna catch one. Hmm. So the captain's throwing a few chunks of cut bait out, chum, just to see if any come up. I'm trying to catch Benita or snapper bait, red snapper. Is that the snapper we're going after? Yeah. We're just checking. I don't see anything on the Get it on the nipple. Look at that. What a cowboy. He, he did. <laughs> like a pro. The boss is talking shit. Yeah, if this doesn't not. work out, we know what you should do. <laughs>
dolphins. Dolph. That's cool. We got a bunch of, sh of uh, snapper, red snapper with the electric reels. We're here trying to catch a tuna at this oil rig. Out super deep. Eat it. Eat the bait. Eat the bait. The marlin chasing a bait out here. Come on, let's catch a marlin. You got one yet? Right here? No, we've had a couple. Oh. All right, so we got a, a jig, snapper slapper, snapper slapper, a pogey. We're taking this thing and shoving it through its head. We're shallow water snappering right now. It's pretty brutal. 300 feet earlier trying to reel them up. 46 feet. Yeah, we're only at 46 feet. I'm gonna let her sing down. Well, let me show uh, show the screen so yeah. you know what it looks like when we find a few. There's a few. A couple on the screen. Two or three. All right, I'm on the bottom. And now I'm just gonna jig the bottom like I'm Keep walleye it. fishing, basically. Yeah, you got two cents in your other way. You got just right in your other way. Oh, we got one. Oh, baby. That's what we want. Come on up here. Yeah! Uh, we didn't want to that. Come on. Come on. I don't have a butt on this thing. Good one. Oh yeah! I got them with both jigs. We caught a few fish today. Not bad. Okay, so we've had a crazy day of fishing, and Eddie doesn't like talking on camera, but I'm gonna force him to tell him about yourself. Whatever, I'm tired. I'm tired too. This is Eddie. I'm tired too. Okay, so this is Eddie Berger with Fish Finish Charters. Um, he's the OG of OGs down here with tuna fishing and all this other stuff. And I was lucky enough to come out here with him, and he doesn't like talking about himself, so I'm gonna talk about him. Tell us why you like this. What well, made you do this? I was in college and realized I needed to get a job. Okay. Two years ago. And I was, shit, what am I gonna do? Well, I already know how to fish, I'm a fish, my way through college. And I finished college, got a degree in history, and decided I, I didn't want to go to law school anymore, and I kept fishing. 22 years ago. And here we are. And here we are with a bunch of seagulls shooting on my boat. On a million dollar boat, no less. Come a long way since college, Eddie Burger. Oh yeah. Anything else you want to say? Not really. I don't really talk a lot. He just catches fish. So if you want to do that, 
you're gonna have all the information you need to call these guys down here and set up a trip at the lodge and go fishing with him or the other captains. But yeah, been a fun couple days. We got lots of seagulls. <laughs> seagulls eating our carcasses. So here's the no fun part of this. They gotta change. And I say they, cause I ain't doing it. You know mine. <laughs> the oil in all four of those things. And by they, I mean Chad and Casey. Gigantor boat. I'm gonna catch an alligator guard right there. Okay, so you're Casey, how tall are you? Oh, yeah. Six, one. Those are large engines. I know, you know, right now. Yeah. Behind the scenes work. Yeah. Yeah. He barely even turned it. What? Yeah. Wussy! He didn't even really want to. I didn't go grunting. Tried. Now it's time to change oil filters. Everybody it never stops. Everybody sees all the big fish, they don't ever see all this. Nope. And this is after everybody's fished 10 or 12 hours all day and got bait ready in the morning beforehand and then they have to come do this now. Go, baby. 